Morning. Morning. Mornings for me are sacred because it's the one time a day that ends up feeling like a protected recess. A little high five, high five, boom. I don't remember a really great day that I had where I hadn't had some movement or a good workout or a good run. And my friends and I have this joke that I've, that I've built a second day into every day of the week. My first day starts at around 4 a.m. Whether it's Surf Friday, Karim Gym, November Project San Diego, these solo runs, 7-Eleven, whatever we're up to, I get to be free. I love my wife and I love my kid, but I still love fun, free time. We found and helped create new athletes. We had professionals there, we had couch potatoes there, we had old people, we had fat people, we had good looking people and weird looking people. Come one, come all. It was all about just show up, however that is. Show up grumpy, show up tired. Oftentimes, November Project will begin with what we call the bounce. Now the bounce is very simple. We pretend that it's a warm up, but it's not. Simply everyone jumping up and down in a very tight radius around one another, for one another, and it builds the initial energy and vibe and enthusiasm for what's about to happen. The workout will be explained, your marching orders will be given, and then we begin. It's like the opposite of a gym vibe. A gym, when it's crowded and everyone's got their headphones in and they're taking selfies in the mirror and you know puffing your chest. That sucks. November Project's the exact opposite. The bigger the group, the better the vibe. The best athletes in the world have been to NP. Olympians, professional athletes, and then some of the most overweight, out of shape, folks that just need to start something. This is not get fit and then come to November Project. This is come as you are. And when you get there, there's a really good chance that someone's gonna come up and say, I, I think you're, are you new? Are you new? They want to know your name and they want to know who you are and they want to add you to this community. Full disclosure, it's, it's pretty weird and it's pretty fun. And I think that's a lot of what's missing in fitness right now is that people want to be cool, they want to be sexy and they want fitness to be about bodies and they want fitness to be about the right outfit. Put on your jorts, we don't care. Get here, join us and, and at least try something. Surf Friday is a group of pretty bad surfers in Pacific Beach. <laughs> we always meet at Tourmaline Surf Park, the oldest surf park in the United States. Surf culture is tough because it's that that's like the gym vibe. A lot of people are just kind of they're just there for their wave. Don't get in my way. When I'm by myself, I paddle out and I see a bunch of really serious surfers and they don't know me. So this is always it lands half the time. I say, guys, I, hey, guys, just a little heads up. I'm really f***ing good. 50% of the time, I get some laughs. Maybe I'm not good enough at surfing, so that I would say this, but I think surfing needs a little bit of an attitude adjustment. I think people are in their shell because it's safe. It's easier to look at your smartphone than it is to start up a conversation. It's easy to be a skeptic. It's easy not to try. The reason I go at people socially and try and hear their story and try and connect with people and get them out of their shell, number one, it fuels me. I love meeting people and hearing stories, but I feel like people secretly kind of want that push. And if I can be that fall man, that's great. And if you hate me for it, that's fine too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on my mission. You really want to know what Brogan's about? Brogan is a uh, great human. He's kind. He's full of energy. All Loud, tall, big personality. Could successfully start a cult and probably convince people to. You just never know what is going to come out of his mouth. I've never met anyone like him in my life. Constantly thinking outside the box, engaging people. That's the little boy and the wife. You getting this? This is real life. <laughs> what sound does a lion make? That's accurate. I think I've had a switch in my life very recently where I realized like this is, this is it. And I mean that in a good way, but like this is life happening right now. You get to pick your lifestyle. Look at your lifestyle and be proud of it. And if you do today and you're not, 
make some changes. I have chosen a life that involves a lot of movement, a lot of nonsense, and a lot of really serious people that don't take themselves very seriously. And I encourage you, if you love your gym membership, stay there, but know why that you love it and be training and be moving your body for reasons that make sense to you and fuel you. I'm not trying to pull people out of gyms. Um, whatever you get hyped about, stay on it. Is that too serious? <laughs>